It's Friday, and it's time for your weekly UAS news update. This is week 67. And this week, I want to talk about three different topics. And the first one is Amazon that is uh, getting their Part 135 certificate. We'll talk about what this means. I want to talk about a jetpack that looks like it's going to be the new drone in the sky. And then lastly, I want to talk about staying away from fires. So let's get started. First thing this week is Amazon was in the news. You've probably seen it. This was covered by a lot of different uh, news outlets, even uh, larger ones that usually don't talk about drones. But the FAA announced that Amazon got their Part 135 certificate and, uh, and that they are approved to use their drones to do deliveries. Now, they're the number three company so far in the U.S. to do this. Uh, first one was UPS back in October. Uh, Google was, I don't remember, Google Alphabet Wing. Uh, I think that was in April. And then now uh, Amazon is getting their certificate. Uh, this basically means that they can now do drone deliveries using UAS and uh, pass beyond visual line of sight. So that's kind of a, kind of a big deal if that's what the business that you're in. Uh, the uh, Amazon said that they basically want to do this to offer 30 minute deliveries. So it's going to be interesting to see. Now, I still have a few questions that um, <laughs> I've asked before actually in forums of uh, people that are doing this. There was a, 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 a webinar that I watched not too long ago and I asked the question and they kind of avoided it because, well, I don't know actually quite frankly why, but uh, several of my questions are, what is the profitability of doing this when uh, there are so many packages that need to be delivered and the payload is so limited? So uh, how much is this gonna cost and is it really enough to cover for the entire program? Number two, is uh, what is going to happen with Sky Pirates? And this is the question that nobody wants to answer, but uh, we've seen already, and I've reported this several times, that people love shooting at drones, especially when they're flying over their property and people think that they own the airspace. So my next question is, when the Amazon package is coming up and somebody thinks that this is something valuable, what's going to prevent them from shooting the drone and going to capture their loot? And how is Amazon going to, to deal with this? And, um, and my next question is, maybe this is the beginning of the FAA and law enforcement agencies that are actually enforcing the regulation that shooting at an aircraft is a federal offense. And, uh, and unfortunately, so far, we've seen very, very little in enforcement of this kind of, uh, of laws. So uh, I wonder if the, the big boys, Amazon and uh, UPS and, uh, and the kind, are going to be pressuring the FAA and other entities to actually enforce this regulation. I know it's not an FAA regulation, I need to say that. Um, and then my last question is, what is what about noise pollution? Uh, what happens when you're... Uh, you have several dozens of drones flying around at a fairly low altitude. What happens to noise pollution? So those are all things to think about. I'm pro-drone, as you know, but uh, drone deliveries are still kind of a, a mystery in my head as to why they actually make sense. But with that being said, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is a jetpack was seen over LA. And it wasn't seen by people on the ground. It was seen actually by two flight crew and one of them was an American airline flight that reported that uh, they just passed by a guy in a jetpack. And this was at 3,000 feet, apparently uh, from, based on the recording from ATC, about 10 miles final uh, on the final to LAX. And um, just find it very interesting. Not only one person, but two crews, two different crews reported that there was a jetpack or what looked like a jetpack and they got pretty close to it. So uh, ATC, you can hear them on the recording, actually said, uh, told other aircraft to avoid the area. So um, my question is, what are you doing at 3000 feet in a jetpack uh, at the end of uh, international airport final? if that's really what happened. And uh, two, I'm actually surprised this wasn't reported as a drone. It's kind of a joke because everything is reported as a drone. And then lastly, I wonder if they had actually Lance approval. So um, just kind of, I thought this was an interesting story. So maybe we'll hear more about this. I actually have no idea what the regulation is behind a jetpack. I don't know what this falls under. If it's a, uh, if it's, I don't know actually, if it's an ultralight, if it's, if it's an ultralight, then it doesn't really require uh, a certificate to fly. But anyways, maybe we'll hear more from the FAA. This just happened uh, as I'm recording this. 
The last one is a more serious topic and it has to do with forest fires. And, and this is kind of my PSA, I do this every couple months where uh, when we have forest fires that are popping up across the country and, um, and I have to remind people stay away from fires. And I know a lot of you know this already and especially if you're a student in our course, we, uh, we emphasize that a lot. But if you're flying when there's a forest fire, it means that the first responders cannot fly. And that includes all the aircraft that are dropping uh, water on the fires and this means that on the ground we can have more acreage burnt and not only that we can have houses burnt uh, and we can have people actually die including firefighters so um, please 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 stay away from fires this is something I know it may look like it's cool footage or maybe you're curious and when you want to find out what is going on but for most of these fires there's actually a TFR temporary flight restriction put in place just to protect the firefighters and, and what they do in that area so um, everything is extremely time sensitive when this happens I, I live in an area that uh, this is one of the only uh, natural disaster that we get which is forest fires and, and it's scary and I tell you when it happens it happens fast and uh, and the first responders need to be able to do what they're doing so that please please stay away from it the reason I'm mentioning this is because there was something in the news that actually I find interesting but I want to bring it up because it brings up another topic uh, somebody recently was uh, theoretically caught flying in the Bighorn fire which is in Arizona not far from where I live and um, the FAA said that they were not able to conclusively determine that the person that was uh, the drone belonged to was the actual operator of the flight and this actually brings up an issue that we see a lot we ask the FAA to enforce the regulation that's in place I know I do and I know a lot of other people do uh, because because we have a lot of regulation in place and we don't need more regulation if this one is not enforced and, uh, and what the FAA often says is that they don't really have a way to identify the person who's actually flying they know that maybe the drone was flying but not they cannot associate it with the person who's actually flying the drone so it's almost like somebody is driving a car and they hit someone and then they, it's a hit and run then it's difficult to uh, say who was actually driving the car um, but so this is a recurrent theme that we hear and uh, and I don't know that there's a solution quite frankly I'm, I don't work at the FAA I don't know if there is any uh, changes that can be done to the regulation but uh, it's kind of sad but they said that they actually talked to the person I guess that owned the drone and uh, and gave them a, <clears throat> a written notice and a, a verbal warning of uh, what not to do so uh, if you want to see the article I put a link down there but stay away from fires that's the bottom line this is all I have for you guys this week um, I try to actually keep it short not a whole lot going on in the uh, in the drone news and uh, we have a um, we're working on actively working on the course right now which is going to be pretty cool coming out in a little bit but uh, I'll give you more information as we get closer to releasing it so that's all I have have a great weekend and uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet I know a lot of you watch us and are not subscribers but we do this every single week so if you want to get notifications of uh, new uh, videos coming out every week then uh, just subscribe down here and then uh, I'll see you guys next week mm -hmm.